Hey guys, Liquid Snake here. I've recently fell in love with Tailspire, and I've noticed that there's a lack of guides out there for the current build, which is an early access on Steam right now. Uh, there are a couple of older ones out there that do a great job as well, uh, but there's a couple things that are left out from the update. And I thought what better way for people to get inspired and is interested in Tailspire, because it's such an amazing and awe-inspiring program for DMs and players alike. So without further ado here, let Sven take you to it. All right, everybody, enjoy, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Dissolve transition. Welcome to Tailspire. The name's Sven, and I'll be your friendly drunken dwarf on this adventure, showing you the inns. <laughs> Get it? Inns? Because you'll be going in and out of taverns in Tailspire. So, let me start you out with the basics. First, let's head back to the main menu. This will be where you'll start your adventures. When you load up Tailspire, you'll be introduced to this fantastic loading screen. Your settings are at the top right here, and you can change your music volume. Mm. And you can exit the program to the right here. To begin, click on the bottom of the screen to open the game. This will show you your current patch notes and the change log to anything the developers have added recently. And on your left side here will be your builds and campaigns that you can create. Think of the campaigns page as a universe, and within that universe you can create multiple worlds. So let's create a new world together, and we'll name it Sven's Grand Adventure. Go ahead and click the submit button. And now, when we click on our campaign, it shows us when we've last visited it, and who is the sole owner of the campaign. It will also show you players that you have invited into your campaigns. You can also show or hide the delete button on the bottom here, but for now that wouldn't be a grand adventure, now would it? So let's hit play instead. Once Tailspire loads up, you'll be greeted with many a thing. It's a bit overwhelming at first, but trust me, this will be home sweet home soon enough, and you'll be making dreams come true, laddie. Speaking of dreams, where am I? Oh, there I am. Thank the gods. I thought they'd forsaken me. Alright, now that that's settled, let's go over this layout here. Your spacebar, think of it as your trusty weapon, as it provides you all the tools you need to create in Tailspire. Toggling the spacebar on and off turns on and off the UI, or user interface for all your numbskulls out there. You'll also notice at the top bar from the left hand side you can see something called Roll, and the current one is GM. We can actually go over more about the roles later in future tutorials. You'll also see besides that something called Build Mode. This will be explained a bit later. Don't worry about the next three modes next to that, as that will be explained in further tutorials as well. The plus symbol will allow you to create a brand new board, and the three dots next to Unknown Realm allow you to rename your board. For now, let's name it Sven's Grand Adventure. There's also an overview of tabs on your left-hand side of the screen, which should be displaying tutorial. If not, don't worry, we can help you get back there. There are also five tabs which consist of your boards, campaign and board settings, your players, the tutorial, and last but not least, the atmosphere settings. Ooh, now it is that sexy. That's ambiance you can't buy! <laughs> we'll leave the other tabs alone for future tutorials, but first, let's talk about bards. I mean boards, not bards. Sorry, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a wee bit drunk. <laughs> so, boards are essentially what we are in right now. A board is a new slate or world that you can create inside of your campaign. You can make as many boards as you wish, just be sure to rename them when you make them, otherwise it might get a bit confusing for you if you have too many.
You also have a nice compass on the bottom left here. You can move it and also set your board northern direction. You can always tell north from south and east from west. Pressing F1 will toggle the help bar, which is helpful for displaying information on whatever the cursor is floating over. Now, let's go over movement, as you'll need it to dodge all those stinking goblin arrows. Moving your mouse over an object changes the mouse from a point to a hand tool. From here you can manipulate objects and grab hold of them. Not me, you damn chowderhead! You know how much I've been drinking! Oh, oh, oh. You can also pan the camera holding right click or moving the WASD buttons on your keyboard. You can also rotate the camera by holding your middle mouse button and moving the mouse in any way you like. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky. You can also zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Look at that fresh mug. <laughs> this mead is quite delicious. You can also change something called the height tool which is different than zooming in and out. You can change the current height by holding down the control key and holding down your right mouse button at the same time and dragging your mouse upwards and downwards. Kind of like an airplane. You can also achieve this by pressing page up or page down on your keyboard. Now that we've talked about how to move around in Tailspire, let's talk about building in Tailspire. That's the heart and soul of it. If you press the O button on your keyboard while you have the UI open, you can open and close your library. Your library consists of all the available assets for you to build your dream world in. This can range from NPCs or non-player characters to players to animals and monsters. But what about me? Oh, yes, even you too, Jerry. What? I'm a ghost. It's what I do. Boo! Alright, alright. So, at the left-hand side of your library, you should see three tabs with symbols that represent everything you can build within Tailspire as of now. The top symbol that looks like a castle holds within it building tiles along with world tiles. The second symbol that represents a small little goblin, the little bastard, holds within it all your creatures and player models. Lastly, the third symbol, the hammer, like my wee brother Dwalin the blacksmith, represents all the little details and doodads that you can add to make your board seem even more elaborate. Within each of these tabs is a list of all the encompassing assets for you to use and sort through. You can also sort through the assets by using the search bar and typing in certain keywords. On the right hand side of your library, you can select the three rectangles to manipulate the view window of the assets, whether that be tall, grande, or vente. Oh, I mean small, medium, or large. Those damn handmaidens with their drink orders. The book symbol on the right is your Tome of Remembrance. It allows you to see every asset that you have used so far. The star below the book allows you to favorite any asset that you so desire. So for example, myself and Jerry here you can favorite and we would show up in your favorites tab. For now, click on the castle icon and select the nature tab. Go ahead and click on the 8x8 grassland tile and place it anywhere you like. And just like that, you've brought in your very first asset into Tablespire. Oh no, Sven! What are all these lines running through me? It's okay, Jerry. We're just in something called grayscaled in build mode. If you right-click your mouse while you have an asset loaded up, for example, like this 8x8 grassland tile, it will get rid of the asset, allowing you to get another one or move around the camera and so forth. You will still, however, be in build mode. So, what exactly is build mode, Sven? Well, I'm glad you asked, Jerry. Build mode is when you go to place any asset that you select in your library onto your board. Without build mode, we wouldn't exist, Jerry. Ooh, spooky. You can manually turn on and off build mode with the B key. 
and that will grayscale all players and character creatures in any board. Selecting a new asset in your library will automatically place you in build mode. While in build mode, you may have noticed there are more symbols in the top middle of your screen. We'll go over those in a future tutorial. For now, you can also check to see if you're in build mode by looking at the top of your screen, as it should be shown in the red square, a small hammer, and below that in bright br red blood letters, it should say BUILDING. You. <laughs> it's all right, Jerry. It won't be your blood. It'll be our enemies. Let's go ahead and spruce up this place a bit. Add some variety and make your first campfire. We've made one ahead of our times for ourselves, but go ahead and decorate to your heart's content. Ooh, this is a nice campfire, Sven. Aye, it is quite nice, isn't it? Well, with that out of the way adventure, I'm going to go get some shut eye, but I'll leave it back in Liquid Snake's capable hands until our paths cross next time. May your tails reach the tallest spire! Fade out transition! Hey guys, hopefully you liked this first in a series of tutorial videos for Tailspire. I hope that I have inspired you guys to go out there and make some awesome things in it. It's really a great program. Uh, I'm going to be posting a free giveaway for Tailspire uh, in the next week here. Uh, all you have to do to enter for that is post a photo of your very first campfire that you've made. And you can send that to me in my Discord. There'll be a hashtag Tailspire giveaway on the Discord there. You can post up your pictures there. You can also send them to me via my uh, Twitter. Uh, you can DM me there. Uh, other than that, I'm going to be posting a link of the Tailspire Discord down below. Uh, in the description as well and everybody in the community there is super awesome there's some really cool content creators a lot of people are making really cool stuff in tailspire it is really really cool <laughs> i know i've said cool way too much but it, i'm telling you guys it's awesome uh and then uh, other than that, don't forget to follow, uh, hit the like button, and the subscribe if you guys want to see more awesome tutorial videos like this one. I'm going to be doing some more advanced tutorials uh, later. Uh, also, I'll be announcing the winner in about a week uh, since this video will be posted. And then I'll let the winner be known, and uh, I'll probably make a little video on it and everything and show off their uh, maybe like the top three uh best ones or the top 10 or something like that so i don't know we'll see you guys but uh thanks so much thanks for hanging out and uh i'll see you next time <laughs> fade to black